I get it for people that are going to bed. But it used to end at 12.15 or 12.30 a.m. for yeah. most West Coast yeah. games. And I do know the next two games, Saturday and Sunday, are 3 o'clock games, uh, I believe, yeah. in L.A. Because I have those games, too. But I was surprised when I looked at either last night or this morning at the game time. I'm like, oh, pregame's at 8 o'clock tonight. It's not at 8.30. Uh, and the game's at 8.38 first pitch. But I'm surprised if it's Dane Dunning. And here's why. MLB.com, a Rangers website, has TBD as okay, well. Okay, so so this is oh. where I don't know okay. if it is Dane Dunning. And I would be surprised if it is Dane Dunning. Let's just look at the timeline of everything that okay. happened. Nathan Avaldi pitched after Jacob deGrom on Saturday and threw a complete game. He has now had an extra day's rest. If you just look at, uh, he had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's five days off. Usually he would have pitched if everything, if there were no off days, he would have pitched yesterday. So he already has an extra day. So I'm not saying I'm smarter than Bruce Bochy. I am not. If you ask me if I'm smarter than Mark Cuban at basketball, I'll say I am. But if you're asking me about mm-hmm. managing a baseball team, I'm not smarter than Bruce Bochy. I am smarter than Mark Cuban at owning an NBA basketball team if it comes to general managing. Right. Not saying I would be one of the 30 best in the world, but I'd be better than him. <laughs> Is <laughs> I would think that Nathan Avaldi, you would start him today. He already has one extra day. day. And so with Dane Dunning, I would possibly move him back some days. Now, you might want to start him in front of Heaney. Heaney had a little bit of a rough start. I totally get that. But if I can get Avaldi, maybe one extra start Start, this year. If I can get Martin Perez, maybe one extra start this year, I think I can here. Uh, According to Evan Grant, Dane Dunning is starting for the Rangers tonight. Okay. Uh, He tweeted that out mm, about 30 minutes ago. Okay. And so this was, we talked to Boach on Tuesday, and we asked him this question. And he said he's, yeah, kind of, they were going to sit down and talk about it and see what they thought the best plan is. And I guess with the veteran guys that they have to make sure that their arms stay as healthy as possible, they would give them the extra break and just throw Dane Dunning into the Jacob deGrom slot. They wouldn't push everybody up a day. But with two days off, you're still giving uh, guys, you're still giving Avaldi, Martin Perez, you're still giving them a free extra day. They'd be pitching on their sixth day. They're going to say, hey, we're going to still keep them on their seventh day this time through the rotation. So I've always been curious for you specifically, like, because everything is so routine oriented, normally I would think extra rest is good. But, like, when you went through it day to day, were you ever like, I'm supposed to be pitching today? I don't like having uh, a seventh day. I don't like pitching every seventh day. Early in the year, you feel really good. Yeah, Your arm's feeling good. And you almost feel like, hey, I still want to get that feel for my breaking ball. I think Evaldi found his curveball last game. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons he dominated is he found his third pitch that he had been struggling with this year. His fastball and split had been very good. But his, uh, his kind of... Cutter, slider, whichever one you want to call it. And his curveball, especially his curveball, had not been very consistent. And sometimes your slower breaking stuff is the harder one to command early in the year because it's a little bit more of a feel pitch than a power pitch. I can't just power through a curveball. You do have to finish that one more than you do a fastball. You want to finish them the same. But if I finish a fastball and let's just say – Simply, just general terms, decelerating my arm after releasing the ball, which you shouldn't. But if you do with the fastball, I can still somewhat place that fastball where I need to, but it's going to lose a lot of velocity at the end. It's going to be more hittable. I might even lose a little bit of movement on it by decelerating. If I decelerate through a curveball, it's going to be what we call a cement mixer. And it's going to be spinning, but it's not going to be going Going anywhere. anywhere. And so it's going to be hit really hard. So sometimes feeling that, where's my release point? Where is it feeling like coming off my fingers, making sure that I'm finishing the pitch, getting the break I want, the location that I need. And I think Evaldi found that. So sometimes early in the year, like, man, I don't want extra days off. I finally found that breaking ball that is really making me a complete starting pitcher now. And so all of that makes sense to me. I would just say that being said, I am interested to see how the Dane Dunning start goes since he had been doing so well in clearly lower pressure situations as opposed to starting. I am surprised that the Angels are playing so well early in the year. They're playing great. They are, and they won yesterday. Uh, They had a day game. Mike Trout had the day off, so he's probably going to play in all three games. I guess here's good news, if this is good news for you. I don't think it's good news for Corey. Corey wants to beat the best. Yes. Oh, yeah, I do not. Otani's not pitching in this series. 
Oh, no. I want because that. he Fantastic. I do think that is good for the Texas Rangers. I guess, by the way, I was wrong. They play at 8 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, on Sunday, it is a 3 o'clock game. But here's the deal, Mike and Kevin. Whenever you beat the non-Otani pitching group, Everybody goes, what do they say about the Cowboys? Oh, the schedule. You're you you're playing ten cans the whole way. Yeah. And, and you're like, like, that's and cool. I'm gonna get a bye. But then they have they can't oh, say anything Cowboys. when you beat Shohei. They're just like, Well, I mean, y'all beat y'all are beating everybody right Still now. Still be like, I'm in first place. We beat Garrett Cole, everybody's like, Holy crap, you know? Well, guess what happened though? We lost to Garrett exactly. Cole. Exactly. So if you would have got some person who Mike would have made up the name for, <laughs> we would have beaten that person. Make up a name for Garrett Cole. <laughs> Reed Detmers. He's okay. pitching on Saturday. Yeah, the same. <laughs> uh, and then tonight is Tyler Anderson and Sunday is Jose Suarez. I get asked this question quite a, quite a bit, like on a pregame show, and, and I get it. It's a fun question to ask, but when you go through 13 years of professional baseball, this is a fun series. You're playing a division rival. You're playing a team that's right behind you in the standings, but ultimately you still have 130 games left. Yeah. So it's very tough. If you take two of three from the Angels with 130 games to go after the series is over, you really haven't done much in the standings when you think about it. It's almost like I compare it to football. It's almost like getting a first down. If you get a first down, does that mean you're going to win the game? It's nice. Uh, yeah. It's good that you got a first down on on your first possession of the game. But it, it's only established that, hey, it looks like this – this could be a good game for us, or this could be obviously a good season, but uh, this is going to be fun to watch. I'm excited about this weekend series. At the same time, you can't put too much into it. I know. You don't want to get swept. You'd love to sweep them, but you know, most likely one of these teams is going to win two out of three of these yeah. games. And I do like, here's the great thing, even though Dane Dunning is pitching instead of Jacob deGrom, when you look at your, your uh, rotation here of deGrom, or sorry, Dunning, Avaldi, and Martin Perez. I'm taking that into LA. I, I feel good yeah. about those three guys. I get Dane Dunning will be limited on his pitches tonight. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming 80 would be max they would go okay. on his pitches. Yeah, because I was going to say a lot of his appearances have been three to four innings, but that's still a big step. Yeah. You would hope to get five. I think, you sure. know, if you get five from him, that is great. I'd expect more of a four inning start. And then he is going to have to start at least one more game where they're putting him in the rotation. Yeah. And I'm I'm going to guess, this is only a guess, I'm going to guess he does get three starts here Okay. In, in this rotation. And then I'm really hoping that DeGrom is back after three starts and, and feeling great.